The moment you've all been waiting for is here. How's it everybody? Celtic Link here and the Dokkan Twitter page has just tweeted out the info for the LR Kaioken Goku and Great Ape Vegeta, the units that are going to be made available on the top legendary summon here in about two days. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what they do and their animation. So let's kick things off with the Goku animation here. All right, we're going to turn the volume up just a tad and stop the music and let's do this. Even the lowest form can outdo the elite if they work hard enough. I dig the animations, I love it. Very nice, the times four Kamehameha. That's a spirit bomb! You gotta hit him with that! You have to! There it is! Here goes nothing! Knock it back, Gohan! The ball won't hurt you if there's no evil in your heart! Wow, that is so clean. And it sounds really good in the dub. Is it just me or they actually mix the voice lines good this time? Like you can hear everything. The music isn't too loud. Wow. All right. So let's go ahead and jump on over to the Vegeta here and check out his animations now. You're about to learn the hard way that effort alone isn't enough to reach my level. Love that entrance animation. Oh right, his 18 key is an area of effect. I forgot about that. All right. That's it. Burst open and mix. <laughs> You're finished. This is the end of the line for you. looks so great wow uh, i i've seen the animations for b before on jp but wow it just looks they did a phenomenal job with the voice lines here normally there's some kind of wonkiness with it the, it's too loud it's t whatever the case is that's not the case this time they did an awesome job mixing the volume here and the voice lines sound right on point for the dub i love it all right so let's go ahead and hop back over to the goku let's take a look at his info what he does so uh let's kick this off goku is an all-out struggle and final trump card category leader for key four hp attack defense 150 percent passive skill if there's an enemy uh, whose name includes vegeta at the start of the character's attacking turn activate that entrance animation once only and key three and attack 70 percent for the rest of battle he gets attack and defense 100 percent plus key seven 
for seven turns from the start of battle. So that'll help you get that 18 key with that extra seven. Um, he gets an additional attack defense 59% when performing a super attack. It wouldn't be a Goku unit without that 59 in there somewhere, right? Uh, plus an additional attack 59% if it is the ultra super attack. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type in to STR key spheres and a high chance of performing a critical hit. Very nice. So with that chance to crit as well as all the extra buffs he's given himself plus the extra buffs for getting the 18 key. I just at first glance I want to say additionals is probably the way to go for this guy let him get stronger quicker. So links are Kamehameha, Saiyan Lineage, Over in a Flash, Sea Fighter, Shocking Speed, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. Um, I think he's going to link rather well with the version Z Koku. I'd have to go back and check for sure. I don't have him up right now. But I, they share quite a few links, so definitely a good partner for him. Let's take a look at the active skill here. Activate, uh, active skill can be activated when HP is 59% or less. It greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage. Um, and stuns the enemy. Very nice. I always like active skills that stun. That basically gives you a free turn when it can be activated, especially in Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road. On his 12 key, he raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage. And on his 18 key, the four times Kaioken Kamehameha, he massively raises attack and defense for one turn. So I could definitely see additionals being the way to go for this guy. Categories are All Out Struggle, Final Trump Card, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, uh, Goku's Family, Turtles, School, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, Battle of Fate, Kamehameha, and Saiyan Saga. Right, that new ca category we got with the Goku Piccolo. I think our official leader, the 170 lead, will be coming with Raditz in the next celebration. Alright, so let's hop over to Vegeta now. Alright, Vegeta is Inhuman Deeds, Giant 8 Power Category, Key 4, HP Attack and Defense 150%. So finally another Inhuman Deeds leader, even though uh, it's another 150% leader. I think the last one was what? Vegeta and Nappa, right? Alright, Passive Skill. If there is an enemy whose name includes Goku at the start of the character's attack and turn, activate the entrance animation once only. Key 3, 8 and attack 60% for the rest of battle. Key 3 and attack and defense 100% plus an additional attack and defense 60% when performing a super attack. Plus an additional defense 60% when it's an ultra super attack. Guards all attacks plus an additional key 3 and attack 30% the same turn that guard is active. So I do like that they gave him unconditional guard plus some uh, buffs for super attacking as well as attacking once you've guarded. So definitely a good slot 1 unit um, for certain categories. Like uh, giant form I would say could definitely use this unit. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, Over 9000, Transform, Saiyan Roar, Shattering the Limit, Legendary Power. So, good link set for other Vegeta type characters. I think he shares six links with the. Or no, maybe five links with the Saiyan Saga Vegeta, the Fizz one. Uh, so, that wouldn't be too bad if you were running a Saiyan Saga based team. Alright, so let's take a look at his active skill here. Active skill it can be activated 40% or less, transforms into a giant ape. 12 key in base form is raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage. 18 key causes mega colossal to all enemies. So again, it's an area of effect. His categories are Inhuman Deeds, Giant Ape Power, Pure Saiyans, Dragon Ball Seekers, Vegeta's Family, Terrifying Conquerors, Space Traveling Warriors, Gifted Warriors, Planetary Destruction, Accelerated Battle, Battle of Fate, Giant Form, Final Trump Card, and Saiyan Saga. So, I mean, in terms of usability, just looking at the categories, the... While the Goku does fall under Goku's family which is, and Kamehameha, which are versatile categories, right now Goku doesn't have access to the 200% leader skill, whereas the Great Ape Vegeta does through Ginyu and Majin Vegeta. However, I next month he will also gain access to another through the Dokkan Festival Raditz. So I would definitely give the leg up to Vegeta, on, at least in terms of 200% categories. Goku will get his probably in November when we get the Gallic Gun Vegeta, unless we get something else before then. 
All right, so next up, the Great Ape. Great Ape is pretty straightforward. Um, leader skill doesn't change, but his passive gift just, is just a straight key five, um, which will be enough to help you get super attacks with him. Sort of, that's the main weakness, right? With giant form type characters is the key to super attacks. So him giving himself key five will definitely help with that. His 12 key causes destructive damage with no added effect. His 18 key greatly raises attack temporarily and causes destructive damage. So the idea here, push the 18 key and hope you can get an additional for that 12 key. All right, so that is the info for the Great 8 Vegeta and the Kaioken Goku. I gotta say, I am excited for these two. I am glad that the Saiyan Saga got is getting this representation through these two units, the Kaioken Goku and the Vegeta. Uh, yeah, we've already had the intro to it with the Goku Piccolo, but I mean, that's not nearly as hype as the epic clash between Goku and Vegeta during their fight in the Saiyan Saga, right? So I'm hyped for these guys. I can't wait to summon, hopefully pick up at least one of them and then maybe coin the other later on. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Make sure you guys catch me when I summon for these guys in about two days. I think on the 25th is when the banners drop. Otherwise, guys, um, if you liked this info session, if you're excited for these two LRs, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And in the comments down below, let me know if you are excited for the LR Kaioken Goku and Great Ape Vegeta. And if you plan on summoning for them or if you're skipping for another legendary summon banner. Otherwise, guys, if nothing else, thanks for watching. And aloha.